Hi, this is Ethan of EasyRibbons.com, and today's video is going to be a continuation of our last two videos where we went over how to install your printer as well as how to set up your word processor to be compatible with the printer. Today's video is going to be in regard to where to download fonts, what fonts work best, and how to add pictures to your ribbons. So the first thing that we'll do is visit a website where you'll be able to download fonts for your ribbon printer and also I'll go over which fonts work well and which fonts work not so well with the ribbon printer. So when you go up and boot up your web browser, go to dafont.com. It's spelled D-A-F-O-N-T.com and you'll see that we have all these different categories here, fancy, gothic, basic, things like that. Um, commonly what's used by shops or individuals is script, specifically calligraphy, it's very popular. And when we page down here, we'll see that it gives us all these different options. However, I'll go over now which fonts work well and which fonts work not so well. So a font that works really well is something here like Birds of Paradise where the lines are very thick and it's bold and you can differentiate all the letters from one another. A font that doesn't work well is something like this, Queen of the Moon, where you have all of these really thin lines that come together and we get some overlapping over here. That does not translate well over to the ribbon printer. So you're going to want to work with something like Birds of Paradise or something like Lighthouse. It's very bold, the letters are very differentiated and you don't get super thin lines like Mademoiselle Camille, or especially something like this, this Jellica St. Andrew's Queen, something like that just wouldn't translate over well for the ribbon printer. So if you want to go and download uh, a font like Lighthouse, you want to check first whether or not it's free for personal use. That'll appear above the download link. Some of, most of these fonts on this website are free for personal use, however, some of them you do have to pay for, but if you want free fonts, just check and make sure that it says free for personal use. And then you go down, click download, go ahead and save that, and then open. And the link that you're going to want to click on is the true type font file, as opposed to the PNG image or the text file. We're going for the true type font file, so the lighthouse personal use here. And it'll give you uh, an example of what the font looks like at various sizes. We can go and hit install, let it install, and now when we go into our word processor, we should see, I'll open up the ribbon template that we made in the last video, we should see that Lighthouse has been downloaded, and I also went ahead and downloaded Bird Paradise as well. So they'll appear right here in your word processor once they're downloaded, and you can go ahead and start using them right then and there. So you might have noticed when I went and booted up this word processor, when I booted up the template that we had saved from the last video, that it's very zoomed in and you feel kind of inundated by this text here and you have to scroll to access the blank sides of the ribbon. What you're going to want to do to fix that is go to view, zoom, and entire page to get the zoomed out view so that you're not totally inundated by the text. Get a feel for the space. This is especially helpful when we go in and we're going to be adding logos, which is what we're going to go over next actually. So say we we're making a ribbon for an event like Golfer Fest, for example, where you wanted to add a logo onto the side and have it be something golf related. So the way to do that is we'll go to our web browser again, go to Google, and something that you're going to want to look for is something with dark definite colors and shade and dark definite colors. You don't really want any kind of shading, so something that works really well is if we wanted golf clip art and we'll want black and white. When we look at these, 
you want to avoid something like this that has the grays because shading doesn't transfer well over to the ribbon printer. You want something that's really bold and defined, something like this where the cut, the it's very differentiated between the black and the white, and you don't have things like these grays. That would not transfer over well at all. So let's keep looking for one that saves as JPEG. There we go. So if we save it to the desktop, for instance, and then we go into our ribbon template, we can add that image that we just saved by going to Insert, Picture, and from File, and then we can go here where we saved it onto the desktop, and it'll add it in right there on the ribbon. And we can drag this around to get it so the text is centered. And you notice that before I added the image, I clicked on this side and it generally added it onto the side. It doesn't always work. What you're going to want to do is find a balance. And the best way to do that is to add the same image, but on the other side. So if we go, click Insert, Picture from File, Add the image again, you can drag that over, move it and scale it how we want, you can make it smaller or bigger, however you'd like. But just like that, it's nice and centered with the flags on either side, with a little bit of spacing, we can adjust that. You can just keep adjusting it until you get the spacing how you want between the lettering flag, and once you get that all set up, you can go and print it. So anytime that you want to add an image, you can. if you wanted to remove one, you can just go and cut it out, but if you want to add an image that you've saved, it's as easy as going into Insert, Picture, from File, choosing one that's on your computer, and making it look just like that. So. That's our video on how to add fonts. The best way to see what fonts work well is to just try them out for yourself. Everyone likes different styles. Your customers uh, might want different styles, and so you have to really experiment from different font types, which ones work best for you, and which ones will translate over well and look good for customers. But that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative. And thank you for choosing EasyRibbons.com.